Good evening, it's February 10th, this is the Hanover Community News, and we'll be right back with news from your town. back to the Hanover Community News. I'm your news anchor, Ron Pasquale. Pirate radio. What brings to mind when someone says illegal or pirate operated? Well, we are not talking about buccaneers or swashbuckling. We're talking about a radio station. In this exclusive story, Hanover News looks at pirate radio station WIRA 96.5 FM. If you've been riding around on the South Shore lately, you might have noticed something new on the dial on both the AM and FM frequencies. WYRA has taken the airwaves. WYRA FM 96.5 on your FM dial in stereo. My name is Craig Nichols. It is now 1.34 on your Sunday afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Stay tuned to us. Commercial free music all the time whenever we're on the airwaves. WYRA. Here's some music going back to 1980. Crimes of Passion album for Pat Benatar. It's called Hell is the Children here at WYRA. My name is Craig Nichols. Stay with us, everybody. Great music, commercial free and stereo. So, Craig, uh, what are you trying to do here with this station? Well, Bob, uh, basically, what we're trying to do is offer the listener basically an alternative to what else is out there on the FM dial. Like I said, we are commercial free, we don't play any commercials, and we try to mix up the format. We don't always play just like, like you said, the last song I went from uh, like a hooked on big band thing to Pat Benatar, you know, we really kind of try to give the listeners a little bit of everything on the dial, and it, it's kind of an alternative, like we say, your radio alternative. And, uh, you know, we do it also because we we're engineer ourselves in commercial broadcasting and we kind of enjoy doing it. It's kind of like a hobby as well, so for me it serves two purposes. We know that WYRA goes on the station legally on the AM dial, but why uh, operate an illegal FM station? Well, basically, our AM outlet is uh, Carrier Current, which is a type of uh, radio stations that you find in colleges and, and some high schools and basically we operate on 640 which is basically the frequency that most of the colleges around here operate on and you know we do that you know from our studio as, you're, as you see here and carrier current operates through the power lines so unless you have you know a big dormitory or something where there's not too many electrical transformers you really can't get out too far on carrier current uh, we've tested our coverage. We don't even get out a quarter mile. With the FM station, it allows us to have a listenership, to, you know, have an audience and uh, basically serve somebody. And, you know, we get out quite a few miles, and we are in stereo, which means, uh, you know, it just gets out and serves more listeners. So, Craig, what type of equipment does it take to operate a, a, a radio station like this? Well, WYRA basically... Uh, all the equipment that that you see is uh, commercial quality equipment. I mean, you look at our board or something like that, that's a realistic mixer, but a lot of FM stations that are commercial use them. And the limiters you see, which is this little box here, is a commercial quality limiter that's built in uh, California that's built by a commercial company. And basically, uh, we try to do is meet the FCC standards. In fact, we do. There's no doubt we do it. You know, we have like the people that are involved in this. Myself and a friend of mine too is a 
commercial broadcast engineers and uh, we basically follow the same standards we would if we were setting up just say audio chain for a commercial FM station of course this stuff is lower cost but it's still put together with the same electronic parts and the same specifications we've added a compact disc player and uh, a new library of music a lot of rare hard to find oldies in stereo on you know nice records that we really had to hunt to find mm -hmm. and uh, basically we want to uh, keep it going build up more of an audience we uh, we're not going to say how much or whatever but we've even thought about uh, running a little bit more power you know and running a little bit more of a broadcast schedule and we probably will be serving more listeners in the future and we hope uh, when a person does so if you've wondered what that new sound is on the dial it's 96.5 WYRA driving somewhere around the South Shore Bob Mio reporting Thank you, Bob.